Praise God. Amen. We come out here today to tell you the truth. That many of you, if not all of you out here, are walking in darkness. You're not walking in the light. You know, the Bible says, let us declare what we have heard from Him, the Son of God. That God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, but yet walk in darkness, then we lie and do not do the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with him. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. One of the most prominent sins out here today among many others is idolatry. You're idolizing a season a time you're trying to be festive you want to have the, the festivities you're coming out to see the, the parading that's going on and among other things one of the, the major sins going on tonight is the sin of lying you're lying to your children about Santa Claus you're lying you're not telling the truth why are you lying to your children why not tell them about Jesus Christ, the one who, who, who gave his life on the cross for the sin of the world? But yet you're out here, and many of you professing Christians, you're out here and telling your children about Santa when you need to be telling them about Jesus. Because Santa Claus is not coming back to town. Jesus Christ is. And unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Unless you turn, you will burn. Jesus says you need to walk in the light while you have the light. That you may become children of the light. The, the Bible says that the wicked, they know not at what they stumble. If, you're, if you've ever been in a dark room and you're trying to figure out where to go, you, there's no light in the room, you find yourself stumbling around, bumping into things. This is exactly what is happening in this world. This is, this is, right now what's happening is that you're stumbling. You're stumbling before God because you're in idolatry. You don't realize it to be idolatry. You think that this is, this is a good thing when really what you're doing is evil. That's why the Bible says your, your, your mind has been blinded. Satan has blinded your minds so that you think that good is evil and evil is good. Oh, friends. Jesus Christ offers you true light. You need to turn to the true light. Santa Claus is not your savior. He's not bringing joy. He doesn't exist. Jesus Christ is coming back to bring vengeance on the ungodly. Those that are ungodly, Jesus Christ is going to bring judgment upon. And you're gonna to have to pay the price for lying to your children. It may seem fun now, but you're going to pay the price for lying to your kids. They're not, going to, they're not going to respect you when they get older. They're going to ask you, why did you lie to me? Dad, Mommy, Daddy, why did you lie to me all those years about Santa? Why did you just tell me the truth? But yet you continue to lie to them. Because you're just buying into the same lie that everyone else is buying into. That it's, oh, it's just fun. It's just fun. No, that's, that's lying. And the Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. It's not God's will. Oh, you need to turn from your sin. You need to turn to Jesus. You need to humble yourself. Because unless you humble yourself, God is going to resist you. If you're, if you're proud, God is going to resist you. And that's your judgment. Your judgment, God judges pride and resistance. He doesn't come towards you. He doesn't, 
uh, visit you. He, he resists you. But if you humble yourself, then God will exalt you in due time. What does it mean to be humble? It means to be honest about yourself. You're not a good person. The Bible says no man is good, only God is good. You're not a good person. You've broken God's commands. You've lied, you've stolen, you've, you've lusted, you've committed sexual immorality, you've blasphemed the name of God. You're not good people. The Ten Commandments is, was given so that you would see it as a mirror and that you would look at your own self and see your sinful condition and just how far you've fallen from the path that God had created man to walk on. You know, what, what we can liken this to is that it's, it's, just, it's almost as if you were given a straight path and a straight line to walk on, but you turn the lights off. You turn the lights off and then you're still trying to walk on that straight path, but you're walking in darkness. You don't even realize how far from the path that you've strayed. To the, po to the point where you can have parades about Santa Claus, he doesn't even exist, and continue to lie to your children, for what, for what reason, what purpose? What purpose does this serve? This does nothing for anyone. It just takes away, it, it may be, it, it may be uh, in your eyes fun for the children, but what true purpose does this serve? It doesn't serve any purpose. Santa Claus doesn't exist, friends, but Jesus Christ does. And he's coming back to judge the ungodly. He commands all, all men everywhere to repent. For he has set aside a day in which he would judge this world in righteousness. Are you righteous today? The Bible says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. For this reason, the Son of God... God, Jesus Christ was manifest for this reason, that he might destroy the works of the devil. What are the works of the devil? He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. How does the devil still kill and destroy? Well, he uses men. He, he brings in false doctrine. Oh, you can be saved and, and, and still be a sinner? Oh, we're all sinners. That's what the devil brings in. He brings in false doctrine and heresy. You know, he's not some... some He's not uh, in, in a red outfit with, with a uh, some type of um, red hot poker, friends. The devil is, is a spirit, you can't see him, but he operates through the, the sons of disobedience. So when you get these urges and these, these things that cause you to do things that are ungodly, which one of them is, is being an idolater or being covetous, you get these ungodly urges to do these things, friends. That's, that's the enemy of your soul. He, he, he brings suggestions to you. And one of the suggestions that he brings to you is that, oh, tell your children about Santa. Let's tell your children about this mystical figure that apparently lives in the sky and knows about everyone everywhere. And that just don't, don't mind the fact that that replaces the, the one true God and that, you, that your children are more concerned about what Santa thinks about them and the other than what Jesus thinks about them. Don't concern yourself with that. No, just continue to be an idolater, continue to tell them about Santa. It's fun. It's fun for the children, right? No, friends, it's, that's just lying. You're being a liar. And Jesus says, if your eye causes you to sin, to pluck it out. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. For it's better for you to lose one of your members and, and be enter into life than to have both your members and go to hell. That's how serious. It is to get the sin out of your life. And if you're in the sin of lying here tonight, if you're in the, you're in the sin of idolatry, you need to repent. You need to go home, tell your, to get your kids, go home, and tell them about Jesus. And stop lying to them about Santa Claus. That's what you need to do. That's what true repentance would do. But you won't do that, will you? No, you're going to continue to cheer at the parade that's going on, that's going by, the cars that are adorned in these fancy lights you're going to continue to cheer because you won't you don't submit to you will not submit to the fear of the lord you chose the way of folly the way of foolishness rather than wisdom and friends if you don't repent that's going to be your judgment that's going to testify against you in the day of judgment because you have the light we're sharing the light with you right now and if you reject it that's of your own choice but you're going to have to pay the consequence for that 
just says this world hates me because I testify of it that his works are evil. And I'm here to tell you tonight that your works are evil. This is all evil. This is not good. This is evil and wicked. This is idolatry. Santa Claus is not real. Stop lying to your children. Stop lying, period. Tell your children about Jesus Christ, about the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He says, no, no man can come to the Father but through him. Only through Jesus can you come to the Father, and he is eternal life. Friends, you need to know him. Sadly, many aren't going to know him. He's, he's, he says in Matthew 7, verse 21, Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into my kingdom, but only those that do the will of my Father in heaven. For many will come saying, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in your name, cast out devils, and prophesy? And he'll say unto them, Depart from me, I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. Oh, there's so many Christians out here tonight, professing Christians, not knowing that Jesus is going to reject you on the day of judgment because you're not following him. You're following the ways of this world. What does the word tell us? It says, do not love the world nor the things that are in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. For these things are not of the Father, but they're of the world. Therefore, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So you're commanded, Christians, to come out from this world, to be separate. You're not, com you're, you're not supposed to be in line with the ways of this world. Jesus Christ has commands for you. He says, be holy, for I am holy. What is holiness set, is being set apart. He says, be holy, for I am holy. And for without holiness, no man will see the Lord. So you need to be holy. You need to be faithful to Jesus and Him alone. Stop being a, a liar. Stop being an idolater. Some of you, if you're coming out here to get drunk even, stop being a drunkard. Turn to Jesus Christ and forsake your own path. Because the Bible says the way of the man, the way of the, the eyes of the, to the ways of man, it appears to be the right way. There's a way that seems right, and this may seem like the right way to some of you, but the end is death because it's not the way of God. God is telling you to get on a narrow path. It's a narrow way into the kingdom of God. It's a broad path that leads to destruction. It's like we're on, on you're, you're watching these cars come down this, this way. It's a broad way that leads to destruction, and many are on it. But narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. It's a narrow way that leads to eternal life, friends. And this is not the narrow way. This is the broad way where we're watching people parade themselves down the street on their way to hell. That's not fun. This is not fun. This is, this is tragic. This is a tragedy. And it's sad that you're, you're, letting your, you're bringing up your children into this. You're going to have to give an account to Jesus for telling your children about Santa when Santa doesn't exist. You're going to have to give an account to Jesus Christ for lying to your children and leading them astray. You know, Jesus says this about, he says this about those who are offenders. He says, it would be better for you to have a millstone tied around your neck and for you to be drowned in the, in the ocean than for you to offend a little child that believes in me. That's what Jesus Christ himself says. So you, you have a, a grave, there's a grave uh, situation on, upon your head right now. It's every day you live in sin, you're treasuring up for yourself wrath to be, uh, upon wrath to be revealed against you in the day of judgment. Every single day you live in sin, every single day you sin, you're building up, you're treasuring up for yourself wrath to be revealed against you on Judgment Day. Friends, you need to turn to Jesus. You need to seek the Lord while He may be found and call upon Him while He is near. While He is near to you. And you know, you can be a mocker, you can be a scoffer, but you know, you're only doing yourself a disservice. You're not, you're not har harming any one of us. You're not hurting our feelings. You're doing your own disservice. Turn to Jesus. Stop, stop praising Santa. Turn to Jesus. 
Jesus Christ is coming back. Santa isn't coming. He's not real. He doesn't exist. But Jesus Christ is real, and he's coming back one day. You need to turn to him. You need to turn from your idolatry. Stop being a, a, an idolater. Stop having this this idol, idol of Santa Claus in your mind, in, in your house, in your home. And let Jesus Christ be the indweller of your home. Because he deserves the praise, the, the glory. Yes, take please take pictures and share it everywhere because Jesus Christ is coming to return. He's going to part the clouds and he's going to smite the wicked. Those who do not obey the gospel and do not believe on him. And I'm not just talking about believing he existed like many people say. Yes, you may have accepted Jesus in your heart at one point, but that does you no good if you don't obey him. If you're not, if you're not obeying Jesus, you, you, don't, you don't know him. Because the Bible says, and Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. But you're not keeping his commands if you're out here tonight to be a part of the parade, to be a part of the idolatry fest. You're not, you're not keeping the commands of Jesus Christ. You're doing what is, what is pleasing to your flesh. Because let's face it, there's a, there definitely is a Christmas spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit. It's a spirit of wanting to be in the world. It's a spirit of, uh, you, you say it's a spirit of cheer. But what really is the Christmas spirit? You know, the Bible says, you know, there's familiar spirits and there's spirits that are not the Holy Spirit. There are wicked spirits that come to deceive, they come to fool, they come to, uh, to, to lead you astray. And this is one of those spirits, the Christmas spirit. And, and the Holy Spirit prophesied and said that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith and give heed to, to deceiving spirits and doctrines of devils. And one of the many doctrines of devils that are plaguing America today is the doctrines of we're all sinners. We're all sinners, they say. You need to humble yourselves, friends. We're not all sinners. The Bible says, he who is in Christ is a new creature. Behold, all things that are old pass away and all things become new. So when you when you truly come to Christ, you become a new creature overnight. No, it's not some self-help program. It's not that you stop sinning less and less over time. No, if you, if you ask anyone who's truly been born again, they'll tell you their testimony that it was a rapid change overnight. That it was an instant, instant change. They, they surrendered all, they gave all to Jesus. And they became cleansed of their sin instantly. They, they had a heart change that they no longer wanted to do the evil and the sin that they were so greatly uh, partaking of in before. And now they want to do what is good. They want to do what God desires and what, he, what pleases Him. If you ask any truly born again person, that's, their testimonies all line up. Because it's the spirit of truth and the, the spirit bears witness. But you have many Christians that have this false testimony of, oh, I was born, I was born again when I was, I was baptized, and, but no, nothing changed. You were baptized, but you're still the same sinner that you were before you were baptized. So what changed? Because anyone that has the Holy Spirit is going to live holy. You're not going to live a lifestyle of sin after being cleansed from it. And if you are, that's, that you, you've departed. You're no longer walking in the spirit. You're walking in the flesh. That's why the Bible says that if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The works of the flesh are evident. Lying, heresies, idolatries, sexual morality, all these things, drunkenness, revelries, partying. You know, this, these are all works of the flesh. And if you're, you're walking in these things. But yet you could be claiming to be a Christian while doing the same. Oh, friends, please wake up and see your, your error. This is living in error. This is not the way. This is not truth. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Friends, you need to turn to him and humble yourself. Oh, we come out here today to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because we have many fake Christians out here that are partaking in something that God is not a part of. And you know, if Christmas was truly about Christ, why are there so many people around the world that don't even follow Christ celebrating it? 
if it's truly about the birth of Christ? Well, newsflash, Christ was not born on December 25th. He was not even born in the month of December. And if this holiday was truly about Christ, many of you would not really follow this holiday. But we have this holiday that's so glamorized around this time of year where Santa is put in the place of God. And kids are told to be good for Santa, not Jesus. People are told, or kids are told, that Santa Claus is the one coming back and they forget all about Jesus. So we have each generation that's being raised up to be more covetous than the first. And you know the Bible says that the covetous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those who covet, you put that, you put, you birth that in your your child's heart to want things. But my friends, the Bible says we must have contentment. Godliness with contentment is great gain. All, all of the people who claim to follow Christ out here that are lying to their children that Santa is real stand in condemnation before God. Because Jesus Christ should be the one being preached every season to their children. You should teach them about the gift that Christ wants to give to your children and not Santa. Because Santa has many gifts apparently to give to the whole world, but Christ has one gift to offer to all and it's for free and you don't have to wait until December 25th but you do have to be good you have to you have to come to Christ and Christ can pardon you of your iniquity you see you won't be able to gain salvation you simply are offered it freely and it's up to you what you do with that belief because a lot of you say you believe Christ but it's not evident in your actions. My friends, if you say that you love someone, you must show it. If you say that you love God, you must show it. You know, there's a lot of secret Christians out here, those who are ashamed of God, who when they're partaking in sin, they want nothing to do with Jesus. And my friends, Jesus says, if you are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of you. Yes, please take a picture of it. Yes, please do. Yes, and this gospel's for kids as well. You shouldn't be preaching, especially if you're a hypocrite. If you're a hypocrite, you should not be preaching the gospel. You know that Christmas started as pagan holiday. Absolutely. Right. So why? That's why we're out here. Really, that is yeah. wonderful. I'm very happy that Happy Yule does not celebrate. Okay. Well, at least you're honest. I am. I'm very honest human being. I'm also incredibly gay. Okay. Um, I watch porn. Well, you need to repent. I, I actually, my God really believes. Yeah, you, you have a God. I understand that. I have several. Yeah, I understand that. And but all of them cannot offer you what you're trying to look for in that. Oh, God. They can actually, they can actually give me more. So where, where will you spend all of eternity when you die? I hope in hell and I will see you there. Though. You won't see me there. But that's why we're out here because we don't want you to go there. No, he, he won't he won't allow that himself. He hates you. He doesn't want any affection from you. He wants to condemn your soul to hell. You shouldn't hate yourself. That's why we're out here because Christ wants to set you free. Why are you so angry with Christ? Are you are you suicidal? That's a real question. Yes. Okay. And I'm sorry to hear that. You got anything to say about that? Well, I mean, that, that was wrong that they did that. By the preacher. Yeah, and that's wrong that he did that. I'm sorry that happened. He wasn't following the Lord. Yeah, he wasn't following the Lord. He said it was because the Lord told him I needed to mm -hmm. repent. So yeah. honestly, I don't care what kind of bull y'all have out here to spread. Stop telling these little kids that Santa Claus ain't real. Well, that is well we can do it. We... Childhood is one thing they have to hold on to. Let no, they need to hold on to childhood. Jesus. They, they need to hold on to Jesus. Does it not say that any child who does not receive Christ, anyone who does not receive Christ as a little child, shall not shall know him? Does it not say Wait, that? Wait, what? Say that again? I 
participated in a Christmas play, one of the lines it literally has a little baby going to heaven because she's too young to understand Christ. Right, so there is an age of accountability. Exactly. Right. What is that age of accountability? What well, do you it, say? I wouldn't say it's like a definite age. Rather, I would say it's a state of accountability. Do you say this or does your God say this? Well, I mean, you, uh, the child won't be punished for something they don't know of. Exactly. Right, but the Bible also says to train up a child in the way they should go and when they get older, they won't depart from it. What if this child say autistic and they cannot understand that? Well, then God won't hold them accountable if they don't know what they're doing. Right. What about an autistic adult? Well, if they don't have knowledge of their sin, God will not punish them for it. What about the people who never know who God is? Are they, well, they going to be punished? Well, they will be... They don't know. Right, so there, there's a state uh, for those people, yes, uh, that um, we have in Acts chapter 17 where you, you see with the Athenians where they worship an unknown God. And they have no it has nothing to do with that yes no, it does no, so in romans chapter one saying. there's two lights you have your conscience that bears witness against you that you're doing sin and then you also have the creation as well that proves that there is a god now if they're seeking because god is faithful he says seek and you will find so if they seek god even though they don't know who to seek god will reveal himself just like there's many Muslim testimonies that, um, or Islamic testimonies where they're coming to know Jesus because he's appearing to them. So God is able to, God is not in a box. He can, he can reveal himself to anybody. But you must come to know Christ today. I'm good, my guy. Well, it's your choice. It really is. I mean, you're still going to have those suicidal thoughts outside of Christ. I know I am. And I don't want you to. Oh, but I do. Well, okay, I mean, that's you. can't help that. Your Christ Jesus. can't help that. Really? Okay, Absolutely. Then let, let's do it right here, right now, then. Well, you have to be Christ, sincere. take my suicidal thought away. Oh, well, you got to be sincere. You're very blessed. You know, you know what the Bible says about sin? What? It says that the wages of sin is death. It says that the wages of sin is death. Sure but the gifts of God is eternal life. Well, I mean, it, it is your choice. We're not going to force you. I am sorry what happened to you as a kid. I can't hear you. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. But you know, anybody who claims to follow Christ, but they're doing abominable things in His name, they're no follower of Him. It's really hard to hear you, I'm sorry. Well, I don't care if they don't want to hear me, but they're going to hear the gospel tonight. Jesus. The ungodly will not stand in judgment on God's judgment day. You'll have to give an account for how you live this life. If you keep sinning, you will go to hell. God will judge you and hold you accountable for how you live this life. And if you keep on, God will judge you. God has a day in which he has appointed to judge this world in righteousness. He will judge you. It's hard to hear you. That God is going to hold all of you accountable for telling other people that they're going to help because that's a sin. Judging where somebody's going to go. So are you judging me right now? So talking about accountability right. you're going to be held accountable as well you're not yes i understand be, i'm going to be held you're accountable you're not supposed to be telling you're people here, judge. That's that's because the bible hell. says we can judge it, it says in john 7 24 that no, you can judge that you judge in the church first no it actually no, it, is, no, it, it says we can church. rebuke we can exhort we can correct yeah Christians, it also says first, not do you want to listen christians I don't first have to listen because well I know. then i'm not going to speak to you you're no you're no christian man you're no Christian. Okay. Why are you so angry? Okay. 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 May I say something? Keep it on. May I say something? Go ahead. All right, so what you're saying is true, but also in parenting. I didn't shut your mouth. Hold on. 
It's all about the gospel. All right, hold on. Turn to Jesus. Right, what y'all saying is true, but also parents want to, you know, Christmas is a big thing as a young kid. Well, I understand that. Yeah, I mean, if they want to do that, just let them do that. I mean, what y'all saying is completely true. Yeah, and so since but it's like, true, we're going to proclaim it. Okay, yeah, you can do that, but also, like, if it's making everybody mad, then, I mean. Right, and it also made people mad when Jesus preached, too. That's other people. I mean, I don't have yeah. a problem with y'all saying that. Right. So, I mean, but I just want to say that, all right? Yeah, amen. Can I give you something? Some good news. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Jesus Christ will hold you accountable, my friends. I know you have a little hissy fit. Jesus Christ will not tolerate that on the day of judgment. You can get all mad. What did you say? What's God's name? Elohim. Yeah, God name. has many names. Yeah. Yahweh, Jehovah. Yep, he has many names. So get it right. Okay. Jesus is his are you, son. Are you a sinner? Jesus is his son. Are you a sinner? Yeah, yeah we're well, actually, yeah. We are. Okay, then you no, need to no. not be a sinner. No, we're not. No. The Bible doesn't no. say we're all sinners. No. 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 The Bible says that we have all sinned, past tense. We've all sinned. Yes, we're not denying that. Children deserve the gospel. Apparently not good enough because you're preaching them Santa Claus at the same time. Santa's not real, kids. Jesus is. Santa's not coming back. Jesus is. Jesus has a list, not Santa. And he knows if you've been bad and he knows if you've been good. And we have so many fake Christians out here that claim to follow Christ, but they deny him with their actions. He also says, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. How many of you honor Jesus with your lips, but your heart is far from him? You must come to know Jesus today. You must come before it's too late. Yep. Jesus Christ is coming to town, not Santa Claus. These are the last days, perilous times, showing all the signs and wonders. But yet many people go about their own business throughout the day of this world and just ignore their death. You never know when you're going to die. And when you come out here, you, and most people come out here to, to cel I get it, celebrate Christmas. See, the, the devil, the devil doesn't doesn't like the gospel for sure. But I'm gonna tell you one day we all gonna stand before God, and and, and and when we stand before God, did you do God's will? I don't believe Jesus Christ would lead uh, a, a Christian out here tonight to uh, support Santa Claus. He's idolatry and lying to your kids is a big problem a big problem in the sight of god <clears throat> what is that going to do it's not going to help you in life to blur out the gospel see many he people in america are just hearers he of the that. words and not doers and it just shows it just shows that people claim to be be a christian but they're living halfway into heaven halfway on the earth you can't do that. You, can't, you cannot straddle the fence. The Bible says, choose this day who you will serve. Are you willing to serve Jesus Christ while living a holy life? Or are you willing to serve Jesus and Santa Claus at the same time? See, I used, I used to believe in Santa Claus. I used, that he, I used to believe that he was real at one point in my life. Yeah. Or several point in my life. Yeah. But praise God that he set me free from uh, liars. Stealing. Crazy. Yeah, Being it's like they're COVID it all up, jealousy. getting angry this and month angrier. This month is really a covetous month because I I was like this, is, this is the month where America... What's that? See, a lot of people just doing a... Uh, just now being a hypocrite, just walking by and just, just saying something, but they don't want to stand for their own beliefs. Yeah, but... See, yeah, it was those bubbles from That's those all it comes down to is Jesus Christ living a holy Sorry, life without thing. holiness no man shall see the lord so santa claus when you bow down to santa claus and and cheer cheer him up 
all that energy you put in tonight, why can't it go for that? Your, your efforts go for Jesus. <clears throat> and many people, they, they don't like the gospel. They, they, but we come out here because we actually love you and care for you. That's the God's honest truth. Because the Bible says it's a broad path that many there goes at it. And a few will find a narrow path. So apparently everybody here tonight isn't saved. Uh, like isn't born minutes, again like of the that. Holy Spirit. Yeah. It was like one See, we gotta have for discernment right? if we're gonna have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. We gotta test the spirit. Yeah, um, I wanted that homosexual to talk to me. Man preaches another gospel. Even though she was very curse. resistant, you know. And we're, we're preaching the whole counseling, counseling to God. Amen. Amen. But you see, no matter what, as long as the gospel is being preached to, somebody tonight can be born again, can be saved. But apparently, we have some people come up to us with hardened hearts. Oh, folks, don't let your heart be hardened. You got to have a humble heart. Yep. God is looking for the humble heart, not the pride heart. Yeah. Do you really think you're going to enter into the kingdom of God with a pride heart? No, absolutely not, because Lucifer had a pride heart. A beautiful angel, but yet got kicked out of heaven because of pride. That's really the number one sin, actually. And there's there's a lot of, a lot of sins that needs to be cleansed from you people. And Jesus Christ can do it tonight for you, but you got to do it for yourself. Put oh, in man. the effort. That man that was uh, resistant towards the gospel is I just, not going to turn out. It. Why, He's why that truck over there. Blow the horn at the gospel when it can save your soul. He did. Just think about it. This, this is just I a think flesh. It was him. We're just in a we're just in a shell, and that's why Jesus Christ said you must be born again. Are you willing to get rid of the idols in your life? I remember. During Christmas time, during Black Friday, I used to blow my money on things on just on this world because I was loving the world. I was wanting what other people got, and I was going into debt. See, when you have Jesus Christ living on the inside of you, you know how to manage your, your money, your time, your life with Him. <clears throat> and it's just funny how people just say, judge not. Because if you continue to read the b bottom of the judge night, because many people don't like to be judged, but one day we're going to stand before God and he's going to judge us. Are, are you willing to hear Jesus Christ to say, well done and faithful, good servant, enter into my kingdom by denying yourself and taking up uh, your own cross and following him? See, that's why we're judging by the, uh, uh, not by the appearance, but by righteousness. That's how you know you have the Holy Spirit. It's, it's patience, love, uh, kindness, righteousness, holiness. That's what the that's what true the, the uh, true fruits come out of a true born again Christian. It's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad, folks. But that's all you need is the Bible. You don't need Santa Claus. He doesn't exist. You don't, maybe, maybe at one point he did, but we can't continue to keep Santa Claus in our life. He's got to go. His reindeer's got to go. His elves got to go from, from your life. And you got to let Jesus Christ come in. It's never good to live in darkness. I've been in that state plenty of times. Plenty of times. But when you come to Jesus, he, he will give you a purpose and meet your fulfillment and your needs. Amen. Of your life. Yeah. I will preach the gospel, die and be forgotten, as long as you get the glory. Yeah, I will preach the gospel, I'll die and be forgotten, as long as you get the glory. Come on, sing it again. Well, I will preach the gospel, I'll die and be forgotten, as long as you get the glory. Yes, I will preach the gospel, I'll die.